my giant Blythe hybrid Tori just got some shorts from Christine at um, Ann Young. That's her YouTube channel. Um, she made her the cutest purple shorts. So she said she also sent some little goodies in here. So let's see what that is. Oh, is that a little mochi? Mochi. Oh my goodness. My daughter would go gaga for this. I have to like sh open it and share it with her. She's moving pretty soon. So I'm going to do that before she moves. Here's a card. We'll open that in a second. Actually, we'll open that now. Hold on, let me see if I can get it open. Wait, before I rip it apart. Look at that cuteness on there. I like that little stamp on it. It says to candy. Okay, I am saving that. I am totally saving that. Look at that. Oh. It's embossed. It's got this little over edge around the edge. <gasps> that is so beautiful. So this reminds me of, I don't know, I had a lot of craft books when I was a kid. And they had all these letters that you could um, make that had all of this. It would be like all of this, but it was in the shape of a letter. This is in the shape of a heart. These things are just so nostalgic. It takes me back to childhood. Let's see what it says. It says, Dear Candy, thank you so much for commissioning me to knit these shorts for your gorgeous girl. I'm so glad that the Dolly community brought us together. Now I have another amazing friend over. Oh, it's got a scripture suite. Let's see if I can focus in on that part. Come on, focus. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Galatians 5.22. And I'm trying to get this done before I start Bible class, Bible study, so. How fitting. I've included a little scarf made for you, for your girl. A couple of boba milk tea mo mochi treats for you. No need to refrigerate. You can just eat them as is straight from the packet. My daughter and I love these chewy snacks. Enjoy. Hugs. There's her YouTube name right there. Annie Young BJD and Christine. Well, since her and her daughter enjoy these, my daughter and I will have to open those. So, I'm saving this for my my oldest she's about to be 23 soon so she just recently flew the coop doing her adulting since covid is allowing that right now oh my gosh oh 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 ho, ho, ho. The other one okay i'm saving those for my girl and i'm making her save those little packages because i'm like that oh these are adorbs they're so adorbs okay let me hurry up before my bible study starts hold on here are the sh oh these are perfect so i made her um some stuff well i have to do that after bible study but i was just looking at this eyelash yarn at the store and i'm like oh let me try it again and i just thought of all oh my goodness i was going to you don't know i was going to try to attempt to make this like Literally two days ago, I was looking at this yarn when I was at the store. 
because I pulled out some of my crochet needles. I'm like, okay, I should be able to at least make a little scar. And I practiced on some little floss I had. I tried, I tried really hard. It, it just, my hand was not cooperating. So I was like, eh. But I was going to buy that yarn and try to attempt this. I, that's so weird. Cool. Weird in a cool way. Because I was totally going to try to make one of these. I saw some fabric very sim similar to this. Actually, though, it was in a, um, like a rust fall color. But it was this kind of yarn. And I was debating on, like, how complicated is that going to be? How fun? I, I'm starting to, like, you know, judge crafts by how fun it is and or how painful it is. If it's painful and it's not fun and it's a little too tedious, I'm like, uh, no, that's not fun. But, oh, this is so cute. I mean, I look, I see, I was expecting these, so I, I'm loving these too. I was not expecting this, so I'm, lo I'm like a little extra loving this, so. And then this, I'm making my doll a carrier. I'm going to try to, I don't know if I, maybe I should Xerox copy this and then try to put that in there. Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up this. Or actually, I think I might make a button or a zipper pull. I think I'm going to turn this into a zipper pull. My brain likes to make stuff out of it stuff that it really shouldn't and then I struggle try to make it happen but I'm gonna make that my little zipper pull on my doll carrier I have a doll um trunk that I'm making but it's 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 turning out okay I'll show you guys that another time but it's starting to get to that point where it's no longer fun and so I'm taking a break from that and I want to um make her a doll carrier I'll show that in another video now, um, as well, but this is going to be the little zipper pull for the doll carrier. I've already got that in my mind, so then I'm going to be frustrated if I can't pull it off, but I'm going to make it happen. Oh. Now, the outfit that I made to go with that, because I wanted these to be leader hosen with the little um, suspenders and little piece that goes across, but once I started making the outfit, it turned out like my my projects sometimes migrate into other things so i'll have to show that in a little while because i really got like bible study started now so i gotta do that part i gotta do that first and then i'll come back and finish the video okay i'm back and now i just want to take a closer look at these very cute shorts here's the back that's where the seam is there's the front and look at the detail look at the stitches that she did around the band there and at the top and look how neat the inside is look how tiny these stitches are oh my goodness it's like the perfect scale for my doll the scarf that she sent I was playing with it already it's in my doll's hair. It's taming the tresses. If only I could get something to tame mine. Okay, so um, again, I wanted to do like leader hosen with like the suspenders and everything. And I wanted the kind like the, you know, like the 70s, 60s, 70s craft kind. So. I asked her. I saw a um a very cute dress that she knitted for her pigeon BJD that she got. Um and so I just fell in love with that dress and fell in love with that doll and I was like, ooh, I want one too. So this is what she made for me. And it turned out nice. Here's Tori in her shorts. Oh my goodness. 
Look how perfect these fit. Perfect. So I sent the measurements because I wanted them to kind of, you know, be like hip hugger type deal. So, oh, oh my goodness. Thank you, Christine. Oh my goodness. These are so adorable. She is loving these. Now we just got to put the socks on. Okay. This is her outfit. With the shorts on and the socks. Okay, my son's not feeling the best, so hold on. Okay, so I ended up doing a voiceover for this part because my son really wasn't feeling good yesterday and I wanted to make sure he was feeling better. Here is, is my Tori with my Ken, my um, Captain Marvel. She's on a made to move curvy doll with some real little shoes on. And just for a size comparison, and there's my um, DC cyborg guy. She is a one-fourth size doll, and they are one-sixth. Here's a look at the whole outfit. I have the scarf in her hair, super cute. She's got the blouse with the suspenders on the shorts with the little brats for buttons. Here's the socks. I made the shoes out of thermal plastic and put a little brad around the edges. The soles came from Dolls Rescued. Darren printed those on his um, 3D printer. Uh, it matched those accessories. Also made her little spinner bracelet to go on her wrist on this side. Made her a ring for her other hand. Made a little choker necklace with a spinner. Also made her a little cartilage um, earring. It's a spinner as well. And those ears came from BB Blythe. I'll put the uh, link to her um, channel as well. The things I got from her Etsy shop were the ears. I got the strings for the um, the pulls for her eye mechanism. And I had to repair her eye mechanism. So I got a piece which turned out perfectly. So here's a, um, another look. And then those are the suspenders. I made the little buttons to attach those to my cute cute shorts and well technically they're her shorts oh here's a closer look at the um mechanism pull strings that um, i made it spells tori i use uh, a little piece of paper and some hot milk glue and glued little stickers together to spell her name out because I couldn't find the beads that I really wanted. So I ended up making those. My favorite book series are on here. If you look, that's Alice in Wonderland, Through the Looking Glass. And at the bottom it says, we're all mad here because I'm a big Allison Wonderland fan. Now I'm also a huge Jane Austen fan. My other favorite um, book series are on this side. So I have Emma. I've got Since sensibility and pride and prejudice 
I love the books. I love the movies as well. Any of the movies from the old black and white ones to the new ones. Oh, and I like steampunk. So I have a steampunk heart there too. So those are my um, pull strings. And of course, there's some uh, random beads mixed in on there too. I love the like patina and the old looking aesthetic. I love steampunk. So she will be having a steampunk outfit coming out, I'm sure. But those are her um, pull strings. And still working on the eyes, but these are the ones I've made so far. And I'll show you a closer look at her eyelids and her eyelashes, because I think I might have changed her eyelashes. I gave her red and black eyelashes before, but I thought they were a little underwhelming, so I gave her some longer lashes. So these are the longer lashes. And again, these are the um, eyelids that I did with, you know, the little nail um, art that they have where you can kind of put on like the fake polish. I use that for her ear. I um, use a little of that thermoplastic to stick it onto her original ear. You can see that on the back. And on the front, you'll see that there is a little bit of a gap. I'm not too worried about it. I wanted to bring her ear forward, but I didn't want it to stick to the front face plate. So it's over the front face plate, but I should still be able to get it open. Now, all I have to do is work on the other ear to get them to match. But she is fine waiting. She says she doesn't mind. She's got two ears, so she's happy. I will um, work on those pretty soon. But and I, I'm liking the way everything is turning out. She's got her chunky shoes. She's got her slouchy socks. She's got her super cute knit shorts. I can't forget that she has a custom faceplate too. So I'll put the link to that down too. So thank you, Christine from Ann Young BJD. Nina Sperino, Macari, um, Darren and Marna, BB Blythe Company. I'm, I'm just loving, loving this doll. So thanks so much, everybody. Okay, I think I'm done here. Toodles.